and a background of Italian heritage. Who would have thought I'd be playing right here at the MCG? The first sense as a kid that I was part of my community was through this game, this game called AFL footy. The thing about this game, it opens up so many doors for you. More doors than I thought they'd ever open up for me. But in this year, the 150th celebration, I was honoured to coach a team called the Peace Team. 16 Palestinians and Israelis have never known each other. They've been at war for 2,000 years. They've taken our game on. They came here to Australia, playing a competition called the International Cup. Israel was always going to be a destination of mine where I was going to end up living. It's the place where I think that every Jew in the world should be. I'm a religious Jew and I have strong faith in God and, and in my religion. When I heard about this project, seeing that, that this whole conflict can't be worked out you know, over one or two different solutions. Like, this is definitely thinking outside the box. I, I've taken myself out of my comfort zone. I'd never met a Palestinian before. Meeting these guys up front and personal, once you get to know them and you get to, you know, muck around with them and you get to play with them, then you realise these guys are for real. For some of these guys, they've, you know, they've, it's a three or four hour preparation. They've, they get picked up maybe three or four hours before training starts. And, uh, you know, they, they have to go through checkpoints and some of them get searched. Some of them actually, you know, it's possible they'll get arrested. What are the camera down? I only think that, that the only reason why they're doing it is because, you know, they're starting to really love this game. In the beginning, it was just under 100 guys who had no idea about this game with this weird shaped ball, and how to get them to get used to the bounce of the ball and teach them the different tactics and the different skills and be able to use the kind of ice-breaking skills to get the Israelis and the Palestinians together. And... Simon loves Australian rules football from the first time he saw it. Uh, his wife's Australian. Being the coach of this team and seeing that he doesn't speak Arabic, he has to very much dodge a lot of things and, and navigate through this minefield of, of cultures and, and dynamics between two people that there's so much history and anger and he wants them to actually come out with a love of the game. Okay, and that's why you understand the game. You didn't do the tackle. You continue the target. I remember the first couple of trainings, everyone was there and a lot of apprehension, a lot of tension in the air. It's, it's, I guess it's like a universal language, you know, nothing else needs to be said. You just sort of play together and uh, I guess the body language, even, you don't even talk that much about anything, but you, you have this connection that just brings everyone so close and just creates this amazing dynamic. I would say that being Jewish has definitely prepared me for being a Collingwood supporter. You've got to be ready, you've got to be on your guard sometimes and you've got to be ready to, you know, give back what you take. Being in, in Jericho in, in, in the first place is a, is a novelty for me, you know, we're not, um, I guess Israelis aren't allowed really in, in here. And uh, just being in a city which is, there's so much history, you know, obviously it's the oldest city in the world and the, the lowest city in the world. And having a kick with uh, my teammates, I guess, who, you know, Palestinian teammates, it's great. You know, it's, it's uh, it really is, it, it, it doesn't feel uh, different to having a kick with, uh, you know, an Australian or an Israeli teammate. And um, yeah, it's, 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 there's definitely that extra element to it, you know, knowing that this is something uh, that is not done very often. So I wish he always, he came like anytime, any weekend, he came like stay in Jericho. We go practice together. I wish all my team and the Israeli team to come and to visit in Jericho. So last night we played a game against some uh, expat Aussies. I'd be lying if I'd said that there's no tension at all between any of the players. I mean, you know, we've got soldiers in there, we've got religious Jews, we've got thousands of years of tension bundled up in this, to this th thing we call the peace team. Mate, Shh. so what you got to do is you take someone aside, slowly, Shh. No, no, Calmly. everyone no. gets pissed off because I'm the smallest and I tell them what to do. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Yes, no. they do. Yes, they do. Shh. No, listen to me. Wait, hey, listen to me, because you're shouting at them. OK, oh, no. no, no, no. Attitude, mate. It's all about attitude. People in Australia really can't underestimate how big this is. We really don't know what to expect, uh, you know, when we go to Australia. All what we do know is that we spent the last three months training together and getting to know each other, and it's, I think we've come a long way. 
70, 33. All right, we're doing really well. Motivated, ready for Australia. Everyone's got to be careful. You think we're a walkover, you know? Let's go. לוקחים אותו, אתם רואים שחקן בריטי, נוגעים בחולצה, נוגעים בחולצה, תופסים אותו, תופסים אותו. The one thing you've done there already is shown that you can run and you're committed and you're going very, very well. Okay, forget the scoreboard. For your first half of football there, everything is okay. But now, I want you guys to score against this mob. That's the first goal we want to have. The only goal I want is I want you guys to score. The first person who scores, I will buy them a beer. Leeds 16, we're down about three players on the bench at the moment, but you know what? We brought it down and we said, you know what, we can't change the whole world. Let's just kick a goal. Let's get there, let's make that our goal, and, and we did it. And the guys were, were completely ecstatic. Really fantastic. Together, all play together like one hand.